Hi guys, it's Tom and welcome to Tracing TV. In today's video, we're back on the West Coast Mainline South from Dovetail Games and we're going to be having a look at the DC lines in this video. So we're going to be doing a run from London Euston all the way down to Watford Junction and uh, we're going to have a little look at the stations on the way. This video, please, please don't expect a review. Um, we've already covered the, the base review um, in our previous video from Mark and um, since then, Dovetail Games have... Um, openly spoke out that they're going to be working on the route as a upcoming patch and a big massive re-look at all the uh, route and stuff uh, to find out the issues uh, that are causing the FPS and all that sort of stuff and of course any issues in terms of like scenic assets and that sort of stuff um, so do uh, please bear that in mind guys um, I will post a link to the forum link as well so you can have a look at that uh, in the description so um, do have a look at that as well just so you know what's going to go on with the route so uh, one of the things that didn't come with the route in terms of scenarios was something that would cover the DC uh, lines um, the 378 did come with the route and there was no scenarios there is quick drives though however but um, we're going to do a scenario um, this is one from DP simulation um, small little caveat with it is that I have swapped all the stock in the scenario uh, the scenario used all the stuff mainly uh, along with some other little bits and pieces that came with the route um, bar like the pendolino and stuff um, of course for 390 uh, version trains which now uses the old one anyway in this video and scenario uh, so do uh, bear that in mind um, but hopefully um, Changing all the stock over might make it a bit more of an enjoyable run in terms of FPS. Not too sure, but we'll see, and we're going to just stick with it. Um, again, when and when that time comes that the route does get updated, we will revisit the route. So, let's have a look at the uh, DC line. Let's get straight into this one, so we'll use them. The doors open. Right, so starting at London Euston, first release your doors and allow the passengers to board before awaiting your departure time of 08.17. You'll then call at all stations on the DC line and have a scheduled arrival into Watford Junction of 0903. So about a 50 minute run overall, 50 55 minutes I think this scenario runs for. Um, so stations to call at will be Euston, where we are now, South Hampstead, Kilburn High Road, Queen's Park, Kensal Green, Wilsdon Junction, Halsden, Stonebridge Park, Wembley Central, Wembley, uh, North Wembley, sorry, South Kenton. Kenton, Harrow and Wilston, Headstone Lane, Hatch End, Carpenters Park, Bushy, Watford High Street and Watford Junction of a total of 17.71 miles. Right, so I've got my rail atlas because I'm going to try and give you some places like junctions and stuff uh, just to make it a bit more interesting as well because I don't fully know the route I've, n I've only been to Euston in terms of a, a spotter term of things really just nipped on the station got a few photos when I was in London a couple of years ago on a, a bit of a, a break away from home um, if you will tourist <laughs> tourist as it was um, we've got a matey boy here walking down the platform but we will just ignore that because we know the route's going to be getting updated so I'm going to jargon on about stuff like that right so we need some headlights on uh, right so tail lamps headlamps are on I don't actually know if or how you change the destination blind within and it's definitely not that, uh, on the 378 uh, so we won't be doing any of that so we're just gonna ignore that we're apparently going to Dalston Junction We've still got a junction in, aren't we? It's just not um, Watford. <laughs> right, so. Right, we are set. That's not it. <laughs> I thought it was C. Usually it's C on most stop, but it's, um, it's actually N on this. Right, away we go. Departing Euston. First stop, South Hampstead, in 2.38 miles. So what we'll do with the video, we will have a look at the stations on the DC lines. That's the only thing we're going to do in terms of looking at stuff. I know Mark passed some of the stations on his uh, video, but we'll have a look at them properly just to see how, how things look in that. So as we depart Euston, we're going to head towards Park Street Tunnels, 
which is the um, I think it's on quite an incline as well, so it's quite an, a notable part of the route as you leave Newston. I'm up to 25 miles per hour at the minute, and we're going to go down line C as well. So, as I say, we're not using the 378 that came with the route. We are using the older version that came with North London Line. We're using the AP sounds off the old 377 uh, sound pack. Just gives you a better experience in terms of the sounds uh, as well. Um, since this route was also released, AP have um, released their Sky EP to now support the route. And also, the track has been updated um, on this too. The 390 has also been updated, um, which now supports the uh, the 390 off this route, so we'll add the sound pack onto that, which is quite cool. No doubt that'll bring some extra sales into Mr. Armstrong Powerhouse's way as well, which is quite cool. Whether or not we'll see the old pack come out as um, a standalone, actually, I don't think we will because obviously the Virgin trains um, licensing and all that, I don't think we'll ever see it separately. Unless a Vanti uh, branded version comes out as a standalone, who knows? You never know. For people that don't want to just buy the route. Right, and now we're up to 50 mile an hour. We'll come up to the up empty carriage sidings as well in a moment. Those are on the left hand side. I'm just I've slowed a little bit earlier there. We're actually going to be down to 40 before we drop to 30 as well. And then we're going to head into the. Um, I think. I'm trying to figure this out here. Yeah, this is Park Street Tunnel, I think, where we're coming up to now. I've got my map out, I'm just trying to fit, follow it, because it's such a massive maze of different lines and boxes and all sorts. Uh, I'm just trying to follow the right bit. But I'm starting out a little bit too early here. But we are meant to be 30 in a moment, so... We're there anyway. So we're going to drop down. I think we drop underneath and run underneath the lines to our left as well. There's a bit of ducking and diving, does the DC line as well. We're on one side for a bit and then we're on the other. And let's see, we're going to go under this way here. We're going to cut under the tunnels here. <clears throat> and we're in the tunnel for a little bit of time now. So, third rail as well for this um, run, of course, with it being DC. Uh, the 378s are capable of uh, third rail and overhead running. We also do share with the Bakerloo line uh, that comes in at Queen's Park, so we'll see some Bakerloo action uh, on this run too. As far as Harrow and Wilston, before we uh, obviously continue, so uh, if you do want this route, uh, you can pick this up as a standalone product or you can get this with the Train Simulator 2021 Deluxe Edition. I think Deluxe Edition is thirty nine ninety nine. It's twenty four ninety nine for standalone route. The route comes with a uh, number of stock items, being the three ninety, the two two one. Both of those in the van delivery. You've got the three seven seven, the three seven eight. Um, you've also got a class three fifty, which has been um, modelled by wagons. But it comes with three different subclasses as well, and all different variation changes and differences in terms of like the um, passenger interiors, which are quite quite cool. I've seen I've seen it on streams and videos. Haven't driven it myself yet. Um, and then there is a class sixty six power haul. Also, I think that's all the stuff covered in terms of stock. Um, what comes with the route? All right, so. Uh, this is Primrose Hill Tunnels, I do believe. I think. Could be right, could be wrong. <laughs> we are coming to South Hampstead. I think I am right because my map doesn't actually show anything of the station where I'm looking at, so I probably missed the end of that, but never mind. 
There's a free fish there just on the left, just gone through into the tunnels, and we are coming up into the station. So we need to find our stop car mark, and I'll probably end up going right through here. Remembering not to go into the e brake like I just did. So the stop car markers there, which are quite cool. I like these stop car markers. These are actually new models, uh, which cover the 378 and the 710s, I think. A matey boy on his phone. So yeah, 378 and 710 car markers. It'd be nice to see if we get a 710 eventually for this. Um, always thinking and wishful thinking, isn't it? You never know. So the station itself, this is quite a cool one because um, Chilton Main Line crosses over the top of here as well, so under Marleybone in down there, and that way obviously out um, to Birmingham. So if you have Just Trains' um, Chilton Main Line, you, you actually cross over here and you do see down um, with the represent representation, uh, nowhere near to the extent of this, but um, you cross over and see this. So this is quite cool. The station itself is lovely. Some really nice detail. Next up is Kilburn High Road. I'm going to try and find out where I am on my um, book. I can't even find out where I am on my book because there's that many tracks. Oh, I found it. Yes, yeah, so that was Primrose Hill Tunnels, South Hampstead, and then it's Kilburn High Road, so I found, I found myself happy days. And I'm speeding. Not really figured out stopping distances yet with this. Um, it's my first run. This is in this direction. I did a run on the stream from Tring to Euston uh, on the, the launch night. Let's have a quick look at the station before we head off. Wait, pause that for a moment. Again, a very nice looking station indeed. Again, we're not going to talk about the bits on this one that are wrong because Mark's covered that one, but overall the general modelling of the station itself and the footbridge is absolutely spot on. It looks really nice, the uh, detail. Um, very nice quality as well. It's got all the uh, proper signage as well, which is nice. I think these benches were used on the North London line, possibly. I think I've seen them before. But it's nice to see all the details about the end of the platform. We've got all these new um, like railings and stuff with the signs and stuff at the end. Uh, look quite cool. Newspaper bits as well. Yeah, very nice. Got ourselves back in the cab. We are going to be departing in a moment. So this is Kilburn High Road. And I've already lost where I'm at. There we are. So Kilburn High Road, and then the next one is actually going to be Queen's Park. I don't think we can open the window in here. Oh, we can. A bit of running sound. Now, 
a little bit laggy coming into Queen's Road. Although we are getting close to um, like Wembley and Wilsdon and all that area, which are quite busy areas of the route, of course. Let's see, there's a Dew train. There's a 378 coming out the other end of uh, Queen's Part 2, and also a 350 going. So, arriving at Queen's Park. Now, I was looking at this one, because of course, Trainson Wheel 2 has um, the Bakerloo line. Now, I wasn't too sure if some of these um, station models had been like back, brought back into TS um, Classic, as like you, if you remember, the HST that came a while ago uh, was from Trainson Wheel um, 2020. So I wasn't too sure if these stations have come from there, um, from their route. Now I don't think they have. Uh, one of the reasons being as well, they look slightly different. Some of the details there, as in, and I'm assuming that most likely they'll probably use the same research material, but one of them being the signal at the end of here is totally different uh, as to Trains and World 2. Um, so it is a slight bit different, but um, it's a very, very nice station. Again, lovely detail. Got a real atmospheric feel to it as well, with all the shadows. I like all these uh, shadows cast through the uh, the light panels in the roof there as well. Really nice. I've been to this station as well. I have actually changed from the Bakerloo to the Overground, so I do. It definitely resembles. I think I stood around sort of like here, and uh, got on my three seven eight down towards uh, Wilsdon Junction. Alright, next stop is Kensal Green. Just change my page. Kensal Green is just uh, 0.78 of a mile away from where we are currently. So we've got the sheds as well to the right hand side there. As we, uh, where they do turn trains around. How many stations do there overall? I didn't quite uh, remember that one. Uh, it's 19 stations all on, uh, all on this run. So quite a good few. Within that 17 mile um, section. Not sure what the top speed is to be honest on this um, on the DC line. At the minute it's been 45. Whether it picks up or not when we get further away is a, another question. Which we will find out. We've got a Bakerloo service coming up. One thing I've got to say, even though I've swapped all the stock around from uh, being from everything that came from this route to not using everything that came from the route, it's still running about the same. Sadly, which is a strange one, which makes me point towards is it, is it something maybe with the route itself, but no idea. I mean, we'll soon find out what happens when we get that update. It's quite cool. Lovely station once again. There's a train coming. There's a pendo. Possible inconsistencies with like passengers must not cross lines and stuff like that. None of that lot seems to be um, placed on this one. Got the stop car markers, and again the lovely clutter, lovely modelling. But um, no, there's nothing like you mustn't cross the line on this one, which is um, a bit odd. Again, lovely textures on the brickwork. Nice tunnels.
Alright, next stop is Wilsden Junction. So this is as far as I went in real life um, on the line when I changed over from uh, Queen's Park. So 45, we're going to go into a 30 mile an hour section shortly. So we're in Kensal doing tunnels currently. down to the third mile hour section this is where we sort of like branch away from the west coast mountain for a short while so we head around the back of um, where the yards and stuff are around the back of the real mail terminal and stuff we do come back in again at um, North Wembley I think North Wembley station we've got Halsden and then it's Stonebridge and Wembley Central so I think we've a few stations around the back of here before we come back in again I think Trying to remember what the uh, the freeware version of this the the, the station uh, order was. I can't quite remember. It's been that long since I've run on it. Again, we're in a very busy section now, as you can see. <laughs> it's a little bit of a slideshow at the minute. The service that's in the station above as well on the uh, on the high level. Now then, I don't think we can get a decent screenshot of that. Really, that would be quite a nice screen grab. It's a shame the sun's behind us on this one. Annoyingly, me obviously, my destination blinds wrong, but never mind. I'm sure, someone will point that out with uh, with me. Probably Mark, <laughs> but I don't have a clue how you change the destination on this, and I, I couldn't find anything on how to set it up in your own scenario, so I, had to, I just left it. Strange that one, it's got a different stop car marking compared to the rest of the stations. So, this I assume is going to be the same station model that probably come from the North London line. I'm assuming all this lot was adapted off that. Um, I can't see him making a whole new fresh model. Possibly might have uh, added some extra clutter to it. I mean, these new station stop car markers weren't in the North London line so that probably come as a little addition there but other than that I think it will be the same station itself maybe this was a starting uh, point for the uh, route and I say that because if you look over here you can see stuff has been removed which tells me that the North London line was probably the um, the starting bed of the route and they've just extended and chopped everything off because you can sort of see that they've taken tiles off you can see where the uh, the terrain then sort of ends, so maybe this was a North London line start off. And then uh, moving forward, obviously everything got chopped off and then they've just laid from there, which which probably would sound about right, to be quite honest. Uh, 
But again, nice station. Even even back in the day when it first came out, it was a fantastic station. It still is now. Another 378 on its way in. So we're back up to 45 in the moment, so we'll probably go, go straight to notch 4 and see how we get on. We'll probably be hitting the right speed by the time the train gets out through that. Maybe not. <laughs> Might as well just knock it down a bit, actually. We are going downhill as well. Halsden next. So we're currently going around the back of Wilsden Brent Yard. Oh, it's just turned into a bit of a slideshow again at the moment. It's obviously loading in some stuff. One thing I'm noticing on this this run, because we're not going as fast, I'm getting all the OHLE and all the loss seems to be in place as we get here. I mean, I drove me um, on the stream the other week when it came out um, back at the beginning, well, Thursday night. Um, the lofts and stuff around the area here just wouldn't load in in time the, uh, when you're driving at speed. I noticed that on Mark's video as well. Alright, this is Halsden. I'm going to pause that for a second to have a quick look around the station. Which again looks very nice indeed. Yeah, I'm liking that. I see no issues. Again, this this route's um, main thing for me, as I said on my stream, the stations are the, um, the big glowing report I find for this route. There's some really, really nice stuff. That's good, that does. Again, nice roof detail as well. So, as I say, we are currently around the back of uh, Wilsden Brent Yard, which is there. I think it's this, possibly. Although it could have been that one, actually. There's a yard over there, you see. The containers are, yeah. That's yeah. That one's Wilson Brent Yard because uh, we're just. I don't. I don't. I don't think it is actually. I'm trying to figure this one out here because it's quite confusing. I think this could be it. We're just a little bit ahead of uh, that one. Yeah, this looks like it is, and then it's got the mail terminal. It's quite a bit going on around here. Stonebridge Park next. Give matey boys a blast of the horn there. Some work going on. Not sure if that's part of the scenario, to be honest, or um, that's part of the route. It's a uh, 325 in the male sidings there as well. There's also one in the uh, terminal too. One of the things I found quite cool was the mail terminal inside of it. It's quite a bit of detail. Um, loads of clutter and stuff going on. It's nicely done. So we've gone to our first slideshow there just while it loads in that town. Which 
just gonna have a quick flick on the FPS. I'm currently getting 14, and that's on the cap, so it's probably, it could be a little bit below. I don't know. Um, I haven't got fraps open at the minute. Obviously, TS only caps the minimum at 14. Obviously, as well today, the uh, it's five car, three seven eight as well that we're on here now. We're on a four car service in this uh, period for the scenario. I will post a link for this scenario as well. Uh, do remember though, it will be slightly different to this one in terms of what the stock is. It's obviously it's more core stuff, but um, there is two scenarios that Darren's done at the minute. So there is two different ones you can do. This one and a three two one scenario, which we did on the stream. Again, that was uh, that was slightly tweaked as well because I swapped all the stuff on that. Um, let's have a look at the station here, it looks quite nice. That's one of the uh, elevated platforms. That's quite cool, you can see down there as well. That's a nice little station. Detail, we've got some detailing there, we've got the station building as well, it's quite nice. Ah, lovely stuff. And go down here too. I think I like with these as well, they've actually added in like the walkway. That's really cool. Whereas a lot of developers would probably cap that off and not do much with it. That's nice. Next stop is Wembley Central. I said Wembley North, that's on the Met line, I think. Bad Tom. So we've got uh, Stonebridge Park Depot to the right hand side of us as well. You see Wembley Stadium as well. So we're going to do a little bit of ducking and diving again. Now we're going to be on the left-hand side of the West Coast Main Line. We are actually on the left-hand side then for the rest of the run. So the uh, the tube stuff you see is uh, part of the uh, VDL uh, team stock from the Virtual District Line. Free to download, um, you can get that from Backdated Train Sim. Bit of a 1 in 45 climb into this next station. into a 45 mile hour section. Don't know where my stop marker is, it's literally coming up now, it's not actually at the end I don't think. Past it. <laughs> Sounds about right. So a quick look at this one. So it's quite a nice feel to it, it's quite dark and dingy isn't it as well. Ooh. 
pendo at speed. Yeah, it's got a nice feel to it, the station. Nicely modelled. Maybe a slight little bit on the uh, close to the edge of the platform there with the building, maybe. Oh, dusty bin. Next up is North Wembley. So I think as well here we go over the Chilton Main Line again. Well, under, sorry, the, it goes over us. We get that right. I'm just looking at my map. Yes, it is. So that is the Chilton Main Line. So Wembley Stadium to the right hand side, Sudbury and Harrow as well. Next station to the left. And I'm speeding quite a lot here, never mind. Here, whilst we're here, we've got warning stuff on this one, it's quite cool. And the walkways as well, you can go inside the walkways too. Some clutter in there as well, it's cool. These must be photo textures they've, they've, they've been able to acquire. Uh, North Wembley. Because they look quite the same as um, one of the other stations we've just been to, actually, that does. Yeah, it's a nice station once again. Not really finding fault with these stations on the DC line. South Kenton next, and then the Metropolitan Line will cross over the top as well. We've got an island platform for this one. I noticed two separate stop car markers. I'm not sure if that's meant to be right or not, to be honest. Oh, that's cool. I mean, that one go. Oh, it does go into what way? I thought it went to the middle of nowhere. Oh, it goes down to the street level. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. On the other side. The same on the other side. That's cool. I like that. That's cool as well. Little uh, little bit there where the you go to the ticket barrier, to the uh, to the window. And it's got the signage as well, so it tells you which uh, which side goes where. That's nice, nice little feature on the signage. The map as well. 
Oh, that's cool. They've got some detail on this one. That's nice. What we're getting FPS wise. We are currently getting 22 FPS. That's that's actually the highest I've had this route. So that's very nice. I think it's actually raised up a bit. So as we've left the busy areas, it's obviously coming a little bit better now. And it's just going to a slash. I think it's just doing a towel load, to be honest. Yeah, it's gone back up to 20. So, Kenton platform next. So, we've just gone over the. No, no, it's coming over us now, sorry. The Met Line is the bridge coming over here. So, when you drive over the big bridge on the Met Line, this is what you see. Is the west coast you go uh, over. Yeah, these stations, they're virtually more or less they're sort of like the same design to be honest on the on the on this line. Some of different coloured differences, but for the majority of it, they are the same style in design, more or less. So they, there's not much difference to point out really, currently. This might change the uh, progressive way as well from the Bakerloo part of the route. So the pendo coming, what are we getting at the minute? So it's dropping, it's 18, 17. This is the old pendolino, so it's it's stabled. Right, it stayed fairly stable, that. 21. Yeah. That's good. Have on Wheelston next, so this is the last one for the Bakerloo, uh, and then we leave the Bakerloo behind. It's telling me to change page on my book as well. Still speeding. Never mind. Just makes up for the time when I've been driving a little bit slow into stations. <laughs> I've not actually seen any scenarios yet being released anywhere else apart from these two. So if you are looking for extra scenarios uh, in the meantime, do head over to the DP Simulations website. Link is in the description for this scenario and it'll take you to the where the collection is um, to download the runs. I'm sure in time more scenarios will become available. So just keep your eye out on the usual websites. Um, obviously Alan Thompson Sim, I'm sure there'll be some scenarios that will uh, crop up there eventually. I probably won't expect many scenarios to appear at the minute um, until things are looking a bit more on the brighter side in terms of the update and that. I'm sure more people will probably flood to get re buy the route or buy the route. I know a lot of people I think have refunded it and stuff like that so at the minute, so you might not. A lot of the developers may not actually have this yet, you don't know. So there's a Bakerloo train. In the uh, in the turn back uh, side in there as well, so we're going to go around that and then continue. Stations left are Headstone Lane, Hatch End, Carpenters Park, Bushy, Watford High Level, and Watford Junction. So we've got a journey total of. Let's have a look. Uh -uh, doesn't tell me.
How helpful is that? Not very much. <laughs> God knows. Probably say we're about halfway. Maybe a little bit more. In terms of miles. One thing we didn't do, we didn't actually have a look around Harrow and Whittleston, did we? Let's have a quick look. Quite a big station, this. Different design from the rest that we've done. Different type of signage as well. This one's actually got an underground logo on it. Yeah, it's nice that I like this one. Not an issue. Oh, apart from the little bit there, but I think Mark might might mention that one. Cool. Onwards. Right, so we're up to 45 mile an hour again. I thought this might have um, gone up a little bit more, but I think 45 mile at the top speed this line does. So, 0.7 miles to Headstone Lane. Most of these stations seem to be within a mile of each other. We've got about 10 or so minutes. We're due in at um, 9.03, so there's about 12 minutes left on this drive. FPS still around the 20 mark. I mean, it's doing a towel load at a minute, but it's, it's sticking at 20, which is not bad. Better than what I had the other night. Don't forget, though, it is a busy route. You've got a busy main line, you've got all the DC line stock as well, so you're going to have a lot of, lot of stuff going on in your scenario, especially at this end of the route. So you have to bear that in mind. Keep thinking there's a fourth notch in the brake, it's not, it's free in an emergency. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at this one. This one looks like the same as the rest again now, we seem to have gone back to that same design, haven't we? Not much to read up about on that one. Let's carry on. Stop his hatch end. I'm just going to point out that that 377 that's passed us is actually part of the stock stuff that comes with the route. I didn't swap that over, and that now it's pantograph up. We've got a different design platform there.
quite a cool reflection on the glass thing there. Go over the footbridge, which takes you down, and then it will take you obviously into the station entrance building, which looks really, really oh wow, I like that. That's some nice detail going on there. I know it's photo textures, but even still, it's a little bit below res, but from a good stance, it looks really, really nice. Shame there's no uh, clock hands, but never mind. Nice. There's a staircase down there as well from the bridge. Excellent stuff. Onwards to Carpenter's Park. there sticking at 20 fps when the voyager went past that's the jt one that is as well I'm just going to check that 377 for a pantograph because obviously it's not running on third rail and nope no pantograph so that's obviously something that needs fixing within their model on that We've gone up a little bit in FPS. 27 FPS. So as we're getting further away, we are seeing to be we are climbing up, which is the most FPS I've actually had so far. Which is actually quite good. And it's actually quite playable. I haven't done a full end-to-end -end run on this yet. Um I will do. Um, but I will be waiting for some proper scenarios to turn up on the community side um, where it uses different stock. Another different design on the station here. Quite cool. Nice island platform. Got towels and stuff. You could just sit here and just sit and watch trains go by here, couldn't you? It'd be quite a nice spot to uh, take uh, photos from on this corner. There we go. As luck would have it, a train arrived. Next stop is Bushy. So we've got Bush, uh, Bushy, Watford High Street, is it? Watford High Street? Yep, Watford High Street. And then Watford Junction, uh, our last on this run. So we've got about, I'd say about a mile or two now, two miles ish, before we get to the end of this. 
Nearly at 30 FPS then. Just watch me count. Just doing a bit of a towel load at the minute. Before it settles itself down. Hopefully. Uh, 27 a minute. I did see 30. One of the other things I find really, really good with this route is that how well the OHLE has been done. Now, I'm no OHLE fanatic. It could be wrong. Probably some bits that are wrong. But, overall, to the eye, it looks really nicely done. There's plenty of different um, details going on. Um, yeah, nicely done on that uh, half of things. I like that. This is bushy. So we leave the main line for a short while where we curve off and branch around. We do join again at Watford Junction. It's interesting how you can do 35 rounds like quite a tight uh, curve like this. That's another nice station. Of a, an issue going on with that sign there. Ooh, like that. You can go through all that as well, that's nice. No, can't go much further, it doesn't let you go all the way down there. That's nice, nice station. Right, Watford High Street next. Um, just as you get to Watford High Street, now, there used to be a line that came in from Croxley um, years ago, which shut down. Now, I believe that was part of the Metropolitan... I don't know if it was part of the Metropolitan line or not. I don't know if it was main line uh, runnings that happened on there. But I'm just going to see if there's a little bit of a nod to that line as well as we arrive at High Street. So hopefully you might be able to see where it came in. Or some form of trap bed. I think. It must have come on that alignment there. Because you can see. It must have done. There's nowhere else it could have come in on. There's not much of a nod to it, if, if either way. My, my thoughts are there. We give a bit of a nod to that line on the Met line. Old bridges. That were still standing. Gonna miss a. Uh, I like the look of this station. This is nice. I want to get a screenshot of this. If I can. And we've got the sun on it. There's the thumbnail. Might have to try and see if we can do something about that destination. <laughs> Might have to photoshop it a bit.
But this, I, I love the look of this station. Look, the beams and that going over the top. The supports. Obviously, those are strengthening the retaining walls in. Nice detailing on the, uh, the canopy edges as well. They've all been, uh, they've been cut out. Nice. Really nice. It's a shame this line didn't have a, a proper scenario covering it because it's a really nice run. As I said, there is quick drives, so you can you can run on it. Next and final stop is Watford Junction. And hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I mean, you 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 are all welcome to your comments in the thread below. We won't get into massive debates in the chat, uh, in the descriptions. You like you can have your piece if you want to say it. But this video um, was mainly just for sole purpose of the drive of the DC lines. If you want to obviously express your thoughts and opinions, you can head over to our other video, which is the review, um, where every, that's more on topic for that sort of stuff. This again was just a general drive and have a look at this section of the route. Which overall has been really nice. The performance seems to have upped itself a little bit for this bit. Oh, okay. I've gone over a TPWS ramp by lots of it and it's uh, not my brakes on. Cheers. <laughs> I hate them TPWS ramps. I was protecting the 15 mile an hour by lots of it. Never mind. We've had one farce. Bit of a moment there, never mind, we got through it. I think we might have missed the freight train. There was meant to be a freight service on this. Yeah, we have missed the ghost. <laughs> We've gone around the back of the station as we've uh, been around the back of air bells. Let me see it. He's over there, look. You can just see him up in the distance, look. Never mind. I thought that might have made a nice little bit of an end to the scenario, but it's been on a bit where we miss it. Right, we're calling it to platform 3. 03. Don't know why they've gone with 0 and 3s and 0 and 1s and stuff on these big platforms. It's a bit bizarre. Doesn't reflect on the platform numbers on the signs. Never mind. Now another one thing that I will mention is um, if you're a scenario creator, you're not going to be able to make many scenarios in yards at the minute because there's no markers at all. I believe there's a lack of portals, so it's going to be an iffy one for freight scenarios around the Wilson Junction area. Hopefully they'll uh, start adding some markers. I mean, I'll show you what I mean quickly. There's not one marker in that yard, so you ain't going to be able to make really anything heading in there, pathing stuff around. I know Mark didn't point that, I don't think Mark realised that in the video, so I will mark that one a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully we'll fix it. Again, I will put a link into that forum description of all the bugs that are going to be uh, looked at and addressed and what's not. Um, I think it was Sam that um, posted the thing, DTG protagonist, I think that's Sam. So do have a read of that. Get, you, uh, get yourselves up to scratch with what's going to happen with the route, so you know. Um, and we are at Wilsdon, no we're not, we're at Watford, <laughs> Watford Junction, open the doors. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, head to um, DPS if you want to download this scenario um, and the other one that's on there. Massive thanks to everyone that's watched this one, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for future videos, you can like, share, subscribe and you can catch on Twitch as well um, at regular intervals now. We don't have set days, we just run as and when we can. Um, link is uh, all in the description below for that guys. A massive thanks. Take care and we will see you very, very soon on the next video. Bye for now.